In today's short video, I'll go over the two steps I take in order to check my car's oil. So let's get started. When you check your owner's manual, it'll normally tell you what is the safe level for your oil to be at. For example, in my truck's owner's manual, it specifies the area where the oil needs to be in order for it to be safe to operate without damaging the engine. I try not to let it reach the bottom of the safe level because at that point you're just playing with fire. So how do I check it? Okay, well in my case, and this is almost the same for all the vehicles, number one, the engine needs to be off and cold. So I like to check it in the morning before I turn on the vehicle. This way the oil is sitting at the bottom of the engine and I get the best reading. I can't check the oil level when I just turned off the engine. Why? Because the oil would be all over the place. Inside the engine, of course. So you wouldn't get a good reading. Normally the owner's manual lets you know when is the best time to check your engine oil. Now all I do is just pull the dipstick out. The oil should be sitting at the bottom already since the engine has been off for several hours. I can kind of guide myself on what is on the dipstick when I first pull it out. But for reassurance, I clean the dipstick, then I put it back in, and now I check it one more time. You could see here where the level of the oil is at. It's not all the way to the max limit, it is slightly beneath, which is still a good level. I can add a little bit more oil, but for now the oil looks clean and it's at a safe level, so I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to overfill either because that's bad for the engine as well. If I were to see that the oil is dark brown and burned and my next oil change date is still far out and I see it go down halfway on the dipstick, then I'll add a little bit more just to have it at a safe level, just until my next oil change. But if the car is not burning oil like crazy, then I can just be monitoring it until the next oil change. Another thing I make sure to do in order to get the most accurate reading is I make sure I'm on a leveled ground. I have another concrete slab that is not level and I don't like to check my oil level when I'm parked on it. Why? Because my truck is slightly leaning to the front when it's parked there. So I'm getting a slightly inaccurate reading. It shows that I have more oil than what I really do. That is why it's important to be on a leveled floor in order to get the best reading. Because I may be here thinking that I'm a, at a safe oil level, but in reality, the unlevel slab is the one causing the dipstick to read that I have enough oil. That is why I make sure to check my oil in a flat leveled surface. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you found this entertaining, don't forget to like and subscribe to help out the channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of your day.